if we were not in the Great Recession now, if we were not in, in America, still speaking, in a kind of post 9-11 environment, what would we actually be talking about if we were talking about the world? I think we'd be talking about the biggest trend in the world today, the trend that is driving everything, in my view, and can explain more things. We'd be talking about the fact that in the last 10 years, the world's actually gone from connected to hyper-connected. This is actually the biggest thing happening on the planet today, and it's, in fact, driving every political, social, and economic major trend, in, in my view. So when I sat down to write The World is Flat, Facebook didn't exist, Twitter was still a sound, the cloud was still in the sky, 4G was a parking place, LinkedIn was a prison, applications were what you sent to college, and Skype was a typo. <laughs> we, we've been running an amazing series actually about Apple Computer, and if you haven't read it, I'd, I'd urge everyone to do. And one begins with a story um, that I think may have originated in Walter Isaacson's biography of Steve Jobs about this dinner last February in Silicon Valley with the Silicon Valley Titans and President Obama. And at one point, Obama turns to Steve Jobs and says, you know, why is it you make 70 million, you sell 70 million iPads a year, you know, 30 million iPhones, I'm making these numbers up, you know, 50 million iPods, and you don't make a single one in the United States. Like, can't you make them in America? What's the deal? And oh, by the way, and Steve Jobs, uh, says, um, those jobs aren't coming home. I think that little confrontation between Obama and Steve Jobs, I could write a whole book about that. Because basically there you have two clashing worldviews. So the president's living in a geographic space, and what he's most concerned is the economic vigor and vitality of that geographic space. And he's saying to Steve Jobs, I, I rule over this geographic space. Why can't you make more of your products in my geographic space? So Steve Jobs is living in a world where you have this global supply chain, which is imagined here, designed here, um, manufactured here, uh, marketed here, sold here. And that chain is now completely divided up, maybe imagined here, marketed there, designed there, sold everywhere. There's no out and there's no in, okay? Um, there's no here and there's no there. There's just a global market, seamless, of global talent, global opportunity, and they're accessing that wherever they go. And so basically, we've, the whole notion of an export is so quaintly 1960s. Made in the world is the world we live in. So you had in that little conversation between Obama and Steve Jobs, the fundamental clash today between multinational CEOs and a government. All these companies, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, they're actually not in America. They hover over America. They look like American companies because they're technically headquartered in places like Cupertino and Mountain View and whatnot. But they're actually not in them. They hover over America. If they see opportunities in America, they'll go for them. But if they see the opportunities elsewhere in this boundless world, they will go for them.